Owatonna High School wrestling coach Cliff Castile to look back on a recap on the season and uh, you know talk about how things will be different here in the future. But first of all, Cliff, two state champions for the Huskies, another guy that came in third place. It was a, a great day last Saturday at XL Energy. Yeah, I would agree with you. You know, the the fact that we had seven, uh, you know, we had seven athletes representing our, you know, our school at the state tournament was pretty exciting to begin with, and and then to uh, you know leave with two state champions and you know three place winners really, um, you know, I think it says a lot about uh, the Owatonna wrestling program. Uh, it says a lot about Section One wrestling. It says a lot about Big Nine wrestling. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it was uh, definitely an exciting weekend, and we couldn't be more proud of, uh, you know, uh, Peyton Tanner and, and Brandon. As far as Peyton, he wins a second consecutive title. Peyton Rob, uh, your thoughts about how he won that title match? Well, you know, Peyton wrestled really smart all weekend long. Uh, you know, and and quite honestly, if you go back and look at the athletes that he defeated, you know, in his. Uh, <laughs> You know, in, in his journey throughout the weekend, you know, his very first match, he wrestled uh, a kid from Apple Valley that ended up coming all the way back through the wrestlebacks and placing third. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, in the semifinals, he wrestled a extremely tough kid from Prior Lake, that Zach Smith, who had beaten Peyton earlier in the year, and um, you know, that kid ended up placing sixth. And and then in the finals, wrestling Riley Molitor, who was the number one ranked wrestler all year long, and the defending state champ at 113 from the year before. So, you know, you know, you may not, you may not have seen Peyton go out there and you know score these large victories, meaning that you know he's winning by a major decision or tech balling or pinning his opponents. But you know, everyone that you wrestle up there is, uh, you know, they're state caliber kids. They're high quality, great wrestlers, and uh, you know, Peyton's a very smart kid as well as being extremely talented on the wrestling mat. So, um, you know, I think he did a great job, and he wrestled smart, and, uh, you know, that's why he's a two-time state champ, and he's only a sophomore. Mm-hmm. Brandon Moen, who's now been to state five times, he's taken uh, medals home four times. This is the first time he's made it to the finals, and he's certainly made an impact by winning a title. Absolutely. And, you know, I'm sure that it's uh, probably... Uh, you know, at least from Brandon's standpoint, and, and, you know, I like to think that I've been around him, I guess, enough to know that, you know, that's kind of a monkey on his back. Brandon doesn't mm-hmm. like to lose, and, you know, he's never, he he didn't, he hasn't been to the state finals until this year, so, um, you know, he's an extremely driven kid. Uh, he works super hard, um, and he's he's just, a, uh, he's, he's very talented on the wrestling mat. He has uh, probably better mat sense, meaning that he knows where he is in a scramble situation or wherever it is, wherever he's on the edge of the mat or whatever. You know, he, he, he's so aware of things out there um, on the mat. So, you know, I'm, I'm just super happy for Brandon that, you know, the fact that he's finally been able to get up on that top stand. And, you know, quite honestly, from the time he was 12 years old and came into the wrestling room mm-hmm. in seventh grade, you know, in his mind, he was going to be a state champ every year. And I know that that's just something that's probably grinded at him for a while, that he hasn't been able to get there yet. And, you know, now that he has, uh, I, I sure hope that he, um, you know, comes back next year and he's got that same thing in his mind. And I'm sure he will because, you know, that's just kind of the kid, the kind of person that he is. So. Unfortunate for the way things ended for Tanner Cole in his match. Now he he ended up winning third place, but he himself didn't know about it until a little bit after the the bout was decided. I guess. Right, right. You know he uh, he, he did kind of get tossed there, and uh, the official immediately. Um, you know, I actually saw a review of the of the match itself, and uh, immediately the official called. Uh, uh, a slam is what they mm-hmm. call it in wrestling. And, um, you know, once that slam was called, and this is before either of the boys were to their feet, um, you know, that made the move illegal, which, you know, if, if Tanner was unable to, you know, continue the match, you know, then he ends up uh, being declared the winner. You know, and and I'm sure that, uh, you, you know, you'll probably talk to some people not from Owatonna or maybe people who don't know Tanner. And, and he, even if you spoke to Tanner himself, he would probably not be super pleased the fact that he didn't get to finish that match. 
Um, you know, and if anybody anybody who questions Tanner Cole's toughness is uh, has to definitely not know who he is because um, I've said on many different occasions if if I were a, a soldier <laughs> going to war somewhere, probably the first guy that I would have protecting my back would be Tanner Cole because he is one of the toughest kids that I know and um and, and, and quite honestly, a lot of people don't know this story, but as we were leaving the XL on Saturday night, you know, and it was late, you know, we had to, it was super late. <laughs> um, and uh, all of a sudden I get a phone call from a coach, and he's like, hey, uh, Coach Castile, I've got this medal in a wall chart of one of your wrestlers over here um, on the other side of the XL where we were. <laughs> and I'm like, well, who's? And he's like, well, the, the bracket says Tanner Cole. <laughs> Well, I'm like, well, I'll come get it. You know, I was actually looking for Tanner at the time. Yeah. We were gathering the troops to leave. And, you know, Tanner had, when I finally found him, I ran into him on the way to find, to, to get to this coach. And I'm like, hey, Tanner, where's your wall chart and metal? And he's like, it's in my bag. <laughs> and I'm like, no, it's not. It's way over here. He didn't even remember. You know, he was still kind of, wow. you know, out of it a little bit, you know. And, um, you know, so fortunately, you know, those are little things that people don't know, but, you know, he was, he definitely had, you know, uh, uh, effects from a, from a slam, you know, and, and it suffered a concussion. And, um, you know, it is too bad, but long story short, he wrestled an absolutely awesome tournament, um, and, and we're super happy for him. He, he improved on where he was the year before. You know, he placed fifth, and, uh, you know, I know he wants to be on that top step, and, uh, you know, I'm I'm confident someday he'll he'll get there. Hopefully next year.